Okay, we have a decision. The future of the Southern Baptist Church is not female. Only men can hold the position of pastor. That's the ruling maintaining years of tradition coming down at the Southern Baptist Church Convention this week, amending its constitution to make it very clear, stating, quote, a church can only be Southern Baptist if it affirms, appoints, or employs only men as any kind of pastor or elder. A delegates at the convention also voting to uphold the expulsion of five churches with female pastors, among them uh, Saddleback Church in California, Orange County, which averages more than 23,000 parishioners every week, one of the biggest churches in the country. Maybe we could say one of the biggest churches in the world. One of the now expelled female pastors releasing a statement after the vote saying, I count it an honor and a privilege to have been ousted from SBC. Let's turn now to pastor and member of the Southern Baptist Convention, Dan Darling, the author of the new book, Agents of Grace. We certainly need a lot of grace today, that is for sure. I imagine that, and I want you to just make it really clear, thank you so much, Pastor, for joining us, uh, that it is biblical, that this is scriptural, that the reason why women are not pastors is because of a verse in, I believe, 1 Timothy. But maybe you can tell people why women are not allowed to be pastors. Well, first of all, we want to affirm that women and men are both fully uh, made in the image of God, and women are participants in the full life of the church and body in Southern Baptist life. Mm -hmm. uh, some of our great heroes are women, Lottie Moon, Annie Armstrong, and many others. Uh, but Southern Baptists have always held that uh, uh, Scripture says that uh, the office of pastor is reserved for men um, based on 1 Timothy 2. Uh, this is not because we you know, we believe men are superior by any stretch, mm -hmm. but because men and women are unique and have different roles in the church. And this is a position that Southern Baptists have, have held for all of their history. Um, uh, the churches that that uh, disfellowshipped, uh, we consider them uh, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, they're, they're fellow Christians. Uh, relationships change. They have, uh, Rick Warren particularly, who has done so much good for the kingdom, has said that he has changed his position. He's moved away from the Southern Baptist uh, position. So we wish them well and uh, look to, do, to work with them where we can. But um, just as a a Southern Baptist church can choose to not associate with the convention because mm -hmm. they're fully autonomous. The convention, which is made up of churches, which is made up of messengers from churches, can decide not to associate with a church. By the way, this was not the only decision we made. We also made decisions uh, to disfellowship a church for not properly taking sexual abuse seriously. We reaffirmed our robust um, commitment to rooting out sexual abuse in our churches, including a database and a website. And we also affirmed things like the role of women in church and um, um, immigration reform and many other things. So this was not the only issue on the agenda, but it definitely was one. And what does it mean to disfellowship for those who aren't as familiar? So the Southern Baptist Convention is unique in that uh, every church is autonomous and churches can choose to uh, associate and fellowship with who they want to and partner with who they want to. So they associate with their local association of churches and their state conventions and the national convention. So basically we said that uh, these churches are not in friendly cooperation with the SBC, uh, so we won't accept their, uh, their gifts uh, to the national uh, convention for some of our uh, uh, missions, projects, and efforts. But it does mean that we wish them well and know that they're doing good ministry. They right. just have chosen uh, to disagree with our statement of faith. Right, and, and it's freedom of religion in terms of how you mm -hmm. want to operate as an organization uh, and as a faith. What leadership roles do women have? Can you be clear on that? Well, women any. lead in a variety. Women lead in a variety of cap capacities in the SBC. Uh, women are. Uh, we have a lot of women that we're sending to the mission field. Uh, women are leading in, in, in a variety of teaching and uh, capacities, particularly teaching women, and uh, many uh, places around uh, the convention and in the marketplace and uh, on trustee boards and many other uh, capacities. All right, Pastor Dan Darling, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.